Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beach here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is will the Tejadas take a loss? See, this season right here, similar to what Tariq has been going through in um, Book 2 Ghost Season 1 and Season 2, the Tejadas have been catching it, much like how Tariq has been. Usually Tariq's the one catching it, but they've been catching it. Now, when it comes down to it, they got a lot going on, man. I mean, Lorenzo took out Zeke. Monet took out Lorenzo because of it, because she convinced Drew's boyfriend, Castillo Gordo, to take him out. Um, she sold him out. She tried to sell him out to the mom at first, which means selling him out to the family. But, you know, it, it also led into now Monet covering up with a blood trail that led from Lorenzo to Drew's boyfriend, Gorgo, to the Russians, to Kai. All of these people dead because she wants to cover up a lie because she knows if her children ever find out what happened, it's going to be over. Kane is doing the best he can with, with all this stuff happening here he's the one with the most level head he is like maturing he has character development but he still got some ignorance about him drew is losing his mind from everett to go go back to everett drew seems the one that's about to lose it a lot and now the castillos are suspicious of him and suspicious of what happened to gorgo and diana she just got hemmed up but she got out but she doesn't want anything else to do with the life it seems like everything about the tahadas is really falling apart if you if you really look at it now my question is um basically What's going to happen this season? And will all of them make it out of this season together? Because if I had to be honest with you, we're all asking questions. Some people have been saying to me that they believe Kane is either going to die or go to prison. I personally want him to go on the run because I would love to see Kane have a spinoff series. He's a character that's powerful enough to get his own spinoff. And I would love to see him have his own spinoff show. Um, some people have said Diana. We all said Diana's going to make it. She's going to cross over. And if something were to happen to Diana, that would be tragic. That would hurt the power universe. Let's just be honest. Um, Drew, on the other hand, Drew looks like to be the one who's going to be gone. Like, it looks like if anything was going to happen to somebody, it's most definitely going to be Drew because it's like everything is like everything's going away for him. I mean, Everett, uh, Gorgo, he had to take out Gorgo. His father, Lorenzo, was gone. Um, you got M Monet, who's really manipulating him because D Drew's mo emotionally like everything about him is just gone and so the castillos are suspicious of him right now and the way they plot you never know they will plot on that man so you know but kane's not going to really let that happen so moving on monet monet is looking like the one that's also going to take a loss too because if any of these children find out what she's done with Lorenzo and then see how far she has gone to cover everything up and the only one who's suspicious of her really is kane and Kane is that kid, much like how Meech, when Meech saw his father, um, bringing in some BMF here, when Meech saw his dad in that club with the other chick, Meech didn't say nothing. He told his pops, I'm going to keep that between you and me, but, you know, because I know that'll break mom. That's kind of how Kane's playing the card. That's how he played with Lorenzo, but he used it to get Lorenzo to do what he wanted to do in regards to Monet. He must know it would cause a lot of destruction if he tried to say Monet was the one behind these things. So he's probably like, nah. Nah, Diana on the other hand, we're all talking about that folder that Diana was holding. We all talk about that folder that Davis was holding in front of Tariq. And that was the same folder from the way it looks that Monet had that proved that it was Lorenzo Tejada who took out Zeke. So with that being said, and if you got somebody like Diane getting their hands on it, it's destruction. Now with Tariq, Tariq will play it safe, much like how Kane is seems to be doing and much like how Big Meech did in BMF, Tariq would be the type to not tell. He would hold it back and say, nah, this will cause too much destruction. But if Monet were to turn on him, he would use it. So when it comes down to it, it's just a whole lot going on, bro. Just a whole lot going on with the Tejadas. We're going to see what's going to happen. But uh, the way they've been playing the game for the last two seasons, though, they kind of deserve this. this they, they had this coming. So, you know, I don't wish no bad on them, but let's just be real, man. While they was doing good in season one of Book Two Ghosts and season two of Book Two Ghosts, Tariq was going through hell. And now Tariq's kind of doing pretty good, staying ahead of the FBI, running the business, doing his thing. And they catching it. So it's like a role reversal. So I'm liking this. Um, but we'll see what happens, man. Uh, basically, um, when it comes down to it, I think the Tejadas are going to take a loss. But I just want to say to all of you that it is your boy, Bobby Beast here. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down. And whoa.